Call of Duty World at War was developed by Treyarch and published by Activision in, what, 2009, I believe. And Call of Duty World at War has one of the worst, worst technical gaming sins I have ever encountered in my lifetime of playing games. The story is good. The, the graphics for the time were actually really good. The, the characters are great. This, is, this was basically a prequel without anybody realizing it that led up to Call of Duty Black Ops, one of my all-time favorite games in general. Call of Duty World at War is fun, but it's also not fun. How, how you can play this completely horrendous game with, with the completely horrendous gameplay is beyond me. Okay, the, the gameplay itself is fine. It's the technicalities within the gameplay. You can't even play the damn game on Veteran. I had it on Veteran, and auto-aim was on. I literally would auto-aim and shoot a guy four times in the chest in one of those semi-automatic, with one of those semi-automatic guns. And I'm not a stupid Call of Duty run and gunner. I'm not stupid like that, okay? When you play on Veteran or you play online, you cover and shoot. That's what you do. You cover, you get on the ground, you look around, you shoot, okay? Not only does it have faulty auto-aim, the hitbox is completely asinine, and not to mention that when they sp span out a bunch of waves of enemies, you're also having to deal with five or six multiple grenades all at once that you have to bob and weave from while trying to shoot these people with auto aim on it is all completely ridiculously absurd especially when you put all of them together okay the the game itself the story itself is fine i enjoy call of duty world at war in story and story writing and narrative aspect i enjoy the graphics i enjoy everything about this game except the gameplay itself the gameplay itself needed work it still needs work and if god forbid they were to remake this game okay keep everything that was in the game that was made handmade story writing narrative keep everything that was in the game as is except the gameplay you guys need to go in and start rigging out the bad things about call of duty games that people have issues with you want to know why newbies are always criticized for having a kill death ratio of like two and 25. It's not because they're new. It's because the hitbox is asinine. These games are terrible in a technical aspect. Call of Duty always gets criticized ever since I'd say 2014, 2013, around the time Ghosts and Advanced Warfare started pumping out and they get criticized. And you know what? You know what? The last six, seven years with Call of Duty games, I've actually had a lot of fun. Call of Duty World War II is basically World at War remade. But here's the difference. I like World War II. I like it. Why? Because the health system makes sense. It It's not fully regenerative. You have to go around finding health boxes and, and stuff like that. Call of Duty World War II is meant for hardcore gaming. You you know that going in. World at War, it's just like veteran. Okay, you want all of the safety features turned on? Gotcha. Okay, it should still be not a breeze, but it should still be relatively comparable to being to able to at least play and finish the damn game. No, you're, you're stuck on missions three, four, five, where they're sniping missions, where they say, oh, help help defend your guys while they go out of their way to just go straight. And meanwhile, you're sniping every single person, but somehow there's a guy over there that you can't even shoot, and he shoots you in the head point blank. Then there are actual in-war missions where you're going through trenches, and you're, you're, you're covering, and you're shooting, and you're always doing that never run and gun. And yet you're surrounded by grenades. Okay. Call of Duty World at War, if anything, to label it, is a spam. This is a spam game. And it's one of the worst spam games I've ever encountered. I had a lot of fun the first two or three missions. I love the story. 
I love the graphics. I, I did enjoy the gameplay. The gameplay was actually good at the very beginning. But then whenever you get into the in-war mechanics of with the gameplay, they just clash together every which way. I, I cannot express this enough. This has nothing to do with it being, oh, it's Call of Duty. It has to do with how it's made. Call of Duty, World at War, because of the technical errors in its gameplay for me. Everything else is fine, solid, at the least average. For me, Call of Duty World War II is dra dragged down by its technical gameplay errors and makes it a six out of 10 on PS3. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm in a bit of a rage because I've, I've played six, seven Call of Duty games through and through, all on veteran. I didn't, I didn't finish the newest Modern Warfare because the last mission I had on Veteran Realism and the last mission was just a spam. It was a wave of enemies in, in the field and you shoot them all down and then when you go to try and proceed, another wave comes and they instantly shoot you in the head one time and you're dead. I don't even think they shot me, it, I just died. That's basically Call of Duty World at War throughout the entire game, at least in the story, okay? World at War is has everything good about it the zombies the story the graphics the audio everything is fine outside of the technicality of the gameplay itself the the problem is the gameplay and my next review will be Call of Duty World War 2 and I'm glad cuz I actually have fun with that I don't play that on veteran because I know how hardcore it is see that's that's the difference between World War 2 and World at War World at War I remember back then they promoted it as having this great, great lengthy story. And they also introduced zombies, which is a great implementation. But it's it's a bad game if the gameplay itself is broken and doesn't work. The hitbox, that right there, ruins the game automatically. But not to mention you turn auto-aim on, it screws you over more so than helping you. And not to mention your... your friends your co-op your partner's ai in the story like even even reznov the ai shoots the people but they don't die so it's not it's not that they're dumb ai it's just they're meant to not help you they just do what it looks like they're supposed to do otherwise the enemies are straight up all for you and it kind of sucks whenever there are 10 plus enemies reznov and all of your teammates are just like shooting all of them and it's having no effect because you are the star. You're supposed to take them out, which I understand that. But your teammates are there to help you manage the team by getting through it. If they're not any help, take them out of the game. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of story-based games or even just the story part of games. I'm, I'm tired of them implementing characters that you play with or around and them not doing a single thing to help you. Okay, Good games that actually work well with teammates and partners. God of War, The Last of Us. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can name some other ones. Uh, Uncharted. You know, those are well-made games. Games that usually get pumped out yearly. Usually they're the ones with the, the most detrimental parts of their game. Okay. So again, I have to preface this epilogue of my review again, Call of Duty World at War, because of its technical gameplay failings, is a 6 out of 10. Thank you.